improper and mixed fractions. Let's explore them in a different way now. Write given fractions in another form and provide an illustration. So here we have two examples. The first one is 1, 3 out of 8. The other one is 15 over 6. What we need to do here is, now this one is which form? Is it mixed or improper? It is mixed since it has got whole number and a fraction. This one is improper since numerator is greater than denominator, right? So we have two different types of fractions given on this sheet. So what are you to write here as? Write these fractions in a different form. That means if you are given this as a mixed fraction, write it as improper fraction. In this case, you need to write this improper fraction as a mixed fraction. That's the first part of the question. The second part is provide an illustration. So to help you out, we already have some figures. Since each part is divided into eight, we have a circle divided into eight portions. In this case, it is six. So we have a hexagon divided into six equal similar triangles, correct? So you can pause the video and then solve the question. So first part is write down these fractions into different form and second is you can color this up to match with the fraction and then you can watch the video for my suggestions. Here are my suggestions. So the first one says one whole and three out of eight. So let's shade first. So let's say we are shading one whole which is this one right. So let's shade it with one color. So that is one whole. Is it okay? And three out of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we shade three out of them, right? So let's say one, two, and three, right? So I'm just shading three out of them. So three out of eight and one whole has been done for us. Now we need to write this as a fraction in another form. So this is given to us in which form? This is mixed form, right? So this is mixed for us. And now we need to write this in improper form. Improper means numerator is higher than denominator. Denominator will be how much for us? Eighths. It always remains same. Numerator is add them all. So we'll start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So we get 11 out of 8. So that is our answer. Do you see that? That's how we will be doing it. Now let's do the next one. Next one is 15 over 6. Let's color 15. Each has 6. So it should be 6 and 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do you see that? So we got 6 and 6, 12 and then 13, 14, 15. So we have to color 6 plus 6 plus 3. So 6 you can color like this. That is faster way of doing it. So let's fill two of them. So if you fill two of them, you actually shade 12 triangles. Do you see that? 12 sixths. Each is 1 sixth. So if you shade 12 of them, then you are shading 12 sixths. Correct? So that is 12 sixths. And then you are left with three more to go, 12, so there are three more to go. So that is half of this. Do you see that? Three more to go. And that's how we can complete this. So that becomes 15 over 6. Which form is this? This is improper, right? So this is improper. And we'll write it in mixed form. Can you tell me how to write this in mixed form? Two holes, so we'll write this as two holes, and how many left after two holes? One, two, three, six. Three out of six. Do you see that? That is how you write fractions in different form. That is how you illustrate them in a figure. And I hope this gives you a fairly good idea about what we are talking. We are talking about fractions in different forms, right? Proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed fractions. And here, everything comes together. Thank you, and all the best.